Hey guys, welcome back to Campbell Workshop. Today I'm going to answer five questions that I've gathered in the past few months, and I'm going to use my rhododendron to explain my answers. Before we start, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, don't forget to click on the subscribe button below so you won't miss any of our new tutorials. First, how do I make your template long-lasting? In our last five tips tutorial. I've explained how I transfer my template to a cardboard, but today I'm going to show you an easier way. Get a piece of scrap 250 gram paper or any slightly harder card you can find at home. Cut the template out roughly. Stick your template onto the card with the glue stick. Then we cut the template out accordingly. The template will be more durable now. It is thicker and not easy to bend. Second, do you prefer pen pastel or soft pastel? Pen pastel is a very fine pastel, even finer than soft pastel, which means it can color the paper effectively. And the color is more vibrant. In here, I'm trying to use pen pastel and soft pastel to color the rhododendron petals respectively. Pale pink on the top and magenta at the bottom. You can see I only use one tap of the pastel. I can color the whole petal. Now I'm going to do the similar pinks with my soft pastel. I'm mixing the magenta and white to mix into a pale pink. I can only try my best to get the colors as close as possible. Another thing about soft pastel is you will need to have some color sense, so you can mix into the colors that you want. I think it requires more color mixing than pen pastel. You also have to make sure you have mixed enough pastel for each time. Otherwise, you might not able to keep the consistency. If you ask me, what should you get? I would say get a box of soft pastel with basic colors, so you can mix for different projects. And I will get a few boxes of pen pastel with the most used colors to top up your color palette. Left is soft pastel, and right is pen pastel. You can definitely get a very similar result. It's just a bit more effort with soft pastel. Third, do you use fixative for your pastel petals? Sometimes, I do not use it on every project that I color with pastel. I only use it with the ones that are heavily colored, like the rhododendron. It's completely optional, especially if you are just working on a one-off craft project. On the left. We have applied the fixative, and none on the right. The difference is quite significant. It works on both pen and soft pastel. Pen pastel is more fine, so the color comes off more than the soft pastel. The fourth question: Are Yuhu glue and hot glue interchangeable? Yes and no. Sometimes they are interchangeable, but not always. For example, you can use both glues. To make the flower center, hot glue cool down quite quickly. So make sure you have preheated the glue properly and be quick. The first flower we are going to use yuhu glue. Yuhu glue takes slightly longer to set, so we have to hold the flower together for a short while. Because it is very thin, it bonds the papers together nicely. And mold into the wire. Next, hot glue flower. There is no waiting time to attach the petals onto the flower center. But it is not ideal to stick the petals together. 
you can feel the plastic embedded in between the petals. Wrapping the wire is a nightmare. It cools down too quickly, it keeps coming loose. The glue is so thick, you can't wrap the wire with it. Even hot glue could not do the job of Yuhu glue here. Yuhu glue could not do the same job as hot glue too, especially when we want to create a ball for the budding flower. Hot glue is better for creating volume. It only takes the hot glue to cool down within minutes, but it would take Yuhu glue a couple of hours to dry, and you were never able to get the same volume. That's why they can be interchanged in some situation, but not every time. Last question, are pastel and acrylics interchangeable? Yes, kind of. But there are some details you will need to know. In here, we are going to experiment on colouring with acrylic on both 90g and 180g crepe paper. And I'm going to show you how to colour our rhododendron petals with acrylic instead of pastel. We are going to start with the 180g paper and then 90g. We experiment on the pre-cut petals and a strip of paper. Similar to the pastel experiment, we coloured the light colour on the top, then the darker at the bottom. Once they are dry, we gather the creases back together. This is our 90 gram paper. Comparing to the template, the petal has expanded quite a bit. To make a beautiful flower, we need to trim the petals again. For the 180 gram paper, the difference is very mild. Because 90 gram is lighter than 180 gram, so it does not hold as much moist. If you really want to replace pastel with acrylic on 90 gram paper, I would suggest you to color your paper first, then cut the petals out, so you don't need to waste your time on cutting petals for twice. That's why I use 90 gram paper mainly for pastel and 180 gram with acrylic due to their weight difference. To conclude, it is completely fine to colour with acrylic paints on both 180 gram and 90 gram crepe paper. You can still make lovely flowers. Pastels and acrylics are kind of interchangeable, but they do not perform exactly the same. So you can choose your medium up on the style that you're looking for. Pastel gives you a more delicate feel, and acrylic is more artistic. I hope I've answered most of your questions. There is no right and wrong answer in art. This is just my way of working. If you have any more questions, feel free to comment below. I will try my best to answer them. I might make another Q&A in the future to answer your questions. Thank you for watching the video and I hope you like it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. It will really help our channel to grow. Stay tuned for our weekly tutorials. We have lots of step-to-step -step flower making tutorials in our channel. Check them out. See you guys next week.